All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. As always, today's sponsor is Authors Unite. And if you want to become a successful author, Authors Unite is the place to go. So head on over to AuthorsUnite.com to check out a free case study that will teach you how to do exactly that. And now let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Mike Rosa with us. He is a fitness YouTuber and owns Anabolic Aliens LLC with a social media reach of over 750,000. He is also the creator of the workout app, Exerprise. So welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me on, Tyler. I'm really excited. Of course. Grateful to have you here. So Mike, the first one we ask on this show is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Yeah, it's actually, it goes all the way back to when I first got into fitness. My mom was really trying hard to get in shape, but really struggled to develop her consistency. So I wasn't into fitness at this time. I never really was working out. I was just playing sports. I was in my senior year of high school. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to help my mom achieve her goal. So I did the entire insanity program, which is high intensity interval training by Sean T. It's like a DVD, all body weight, hit style routines at home. And what I found was as I was doing that to help her out, I was also helping out myself, just achieving all new goals with my body and also my mentality. And I fell in love with exercise. I fell in love with being able to help someone doing something I love in the process. And that really actually turned into not just a hobby of working out, but also a whole business module of how much I actually love working out and what I can achieve to myself, but at the same time, how that can help people through their processes as well, through my experiences. So I think one of the most valuable messages from that story is the ability to be able to help someone will also help yourself, will also basically reach a uh, combined level of happiness for mul- for yourself and multiple other people just really just gives you a whole value of your whole goal in life and mission, basically. Dude, absolutely, man. I always say helping others helps you. And uh, it's really cool story, actually. Like you were going to help your mom and then it actually it turned into a whole business for you. <laughs> it's like awesome. It turned into uh, something I love, man. It was awesome. So next one I got for you. What is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Yeah, so fitness, I think the biggest thing that is hard for people to understand is how everyone is so different. You can read all these facts online and see other people's experiences, and that just may not work out for you. So that's why it's really important, I think, when it comes to the fitness industry, to stick to your values, know what you really believe in, what works for you, and share your experiences, but also understand that other people, you're never going to be able to have everyone agree with you. You're never going to be able to have everyone get the same results as you, but you can always use your experiences to help guide people in the right direction or provide them options that they may not have really considered for themselves. So I think it's just really important within the fitness industry to stick to what's doing working best for you because everyone is so different. I guarantee that's going to work for someone else too. Mm -hmm. And then what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Uh, I consistency (laughs) consistent. I from the very beginning of when I started my business, releasing uh, YouTube videos to begin with never missed one week of uploading a video. And it's been over four and a half years now. And so oh, with, awesome. yeah, with so much content kind of saturating the market now, I think the most important thing with business in general is just staying consistent. And if you develop your consistency, you can slowly work on improving your quality over time. And then if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, def- I think it definitely would be to really focus on relating to my own story and letting my experiences really drive other people um, other people to kind of follow their own journeys as well. Because in the beginning, I was always looking for specific ways on how I can try to reach more people, how I can try to help them out even more. But in reality, just focusing on improving myself, getting my own experiences that people can relate to really helps really inc- increase my engagement and just, I think, help relate to people even more on a personal level. And then kind of going a little bit down a different path, in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? Doing what you love, man. I don't know how people can not do something they love. I mean, 
it's not work to me. I'm doing what I love. And if I spend, if I'm up till three in the morning doing some extra work, it's because I actually really enjoy doing it. So I think that's, I'm very, very happy with what I do and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, man, dude, I agree, man. You gotta, I think um, it's, it's very actually simply put, like if you want to go really far in, in what you're doing, like work career wise, you app like fundamental, you have to love what you're doing. It's yeah. the only way because dude, staying up till 3 a.m. for you probably isn't actually that difficult because you're so into the work. Whereas if you were doing something you didn't like, that would be like a very deep struggle. Um, so it's just, it's the foundation. You got to enjoy what you do. I think a lot of people miss that. Yeah. Um, so next one is what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? The book is called expert secrets by Russell Brunson. Um, and it's basically helping people create a mass movement of people who will pay for your advice. But the reason I really love the book and what I learned most from it is kind of how you can relate to people through storytelling. So like I kind of intertwine that philosophy with my um, personal experiences, if you can be a good storyteller, you're going to be able to relate to a lot more people and have them on your side. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite quote and why? If it was easy, then everyone would do it. It's never going to be easy. So I, I mean, not, there's a reason everyone's not doing it. And if you really want it, then you just have to get after it. That's why I love that quote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson as well. Um, so dude, thanks for coming on. Last one. Uh, where can our listeners best find you online? Uh, my YouTube channel and social medias are anabolic aliens and anabolic aliens.com. Perfect brother. Thanks again. Thank you. The podcast you just heard was made using anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.